Wait a minute. Pa, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to issue 50. Well, another issue, really, of the Eagle Moss Presents Build the Back to the Future DeLorean issue 50. Um, so we're halfway done. No, we're not really halfway done. There's 130 issues. Um, but we finally get our first seat, or the driver's seat here. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the seat back rear, the seat back front, a couple sponges. I guess to make the seat squishy. Um, the seat back cover, the seat back base, or seat base cover. And I guess we'll figure out what all these parts are. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty quick one. Um, and then in the next issue, we get the passenger seat. So um, finally our interior, interior will start to actually look like a car. Um, let's see, Building the World of Tomorrow, Part 1, just talks about um, probably the set design of the um, uh, the future version. Oh my gosh, there's like a futuristic Mustang Fox body. <laughs> I think that's called a Fox body, like the late 80s, early 90s Mustang. And Blast from the Past. So these are kind of like all the old things. Um that were new back in the 80s, but are old now. Um, all right, well, let's get started. All right. Where is my razor blade? Oh, here it is. So it looks like we need to cut some parts out here. So we've got a metal, a metal seat base. We've got some screws. The seat back, I guess. Will be something like that. Okay, I've got these pieces. I'm not sure what those were for yet. And then two black plastic things. I don't know what those are supposed to be, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see, that looks like all the parts. So I'll just set the bag aside. I'm going to put my razor blade down before I slice myself wide open, which would not be fun at all. Uh, and then let's see, place one of the sponges 50C into the cavity in the back of 50D. Is that well, it's already done for me. Okay, so that's the back. Okay. Done. Um, <laughs> place 50B, which is this metal piece here. Um, and then it looks like there's like little T's here that line up to, you know, slots in the metal part. So I guess we just kind of push all of this into place like so. That was easy enough. Uh, do the same thing with the base. Set that aside. So that or that way. I think that way is probably the better way. And the same thing. The metal piece slots right in here. And we've got a little bit of a squishy pad there. Next, we take, let's see, put the seat back onto the seat as shown. All right. And then align the holes at the base of the two parts of the seat and insert knob. 50F. How do you know which one is 50F? Well, I guess it's just one of these. And there's a little slot on one side of them, so you, I think that aligns to the slot on the outside of the seat. Okay, apparently I have not aligned it properly.
Okay. Ah, there we go. And next, tighten an HP screw. HP. Oh, these are the ones that have kind of a big flat part on it. Ah. All right. <laughs> All right. So um, I got a nice compliment, and I'm kind of going to remain a not. Well, I, I don't. I'm not exactly sure who sent it because it was. I think it was back in November, but um, in one of the Back to the Future DeLorean groups I am in on Facebook, uh, somebody left a nice comment about how they enjoyed my videos because I don't cut anything out. Um, and, you know, it's just like, I can't remember how they worded it. If it was like, you know, kind of just being, hanging out with your, you know, your friend, building models. And I thought that's exactly, exactly, you know, the experience that um, I want people to have watching my videos. Of course, here I cannot find the hole because it's black. It's all it's dark. Um, okay, this is going to be. Oh, maybe if I. Oh, can I stick this through the? If I can stick this through. Oh no, it's not. It's not long enough. Ooh. Okay. Wait. Where is the? Where's that screwdriver that we got with the kit? It's been so long since I've used one. Um, I think this one I got with the, the Millennium Falcon, so maybe I'll try this. Yeah. And we'll just, just to get this started. Actually, this works pretty well. And then I'll just tighten that a bit. All right, perfect. I want, of course, we're not going to be able to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, no. Okay, next hole. Just make sure that I've got this aligned correctly. Okay. And this one's going to... Uh, of course, I'm not watching the instructions. Um, hopefully, you can see them down here. Okay. Another HP screw, I think. Well, what did we get? What did we get all these screws for? There's like a bunch of DM screws, and because I, I think we just attach this to the the base and we're done, pretty much. Oh, I know what the DM screws were for. They're for, for screwing the backs on here. Okay. This is not too, too bad. Okay. All right, so there is a little bit of, you know, we can tilt it how we want it. All right. So next, okay, here's all the DM screws. So we've got this plastic backing here. So this is just gonna go I guess it's pretty much like that. This one I might want to use my big screwdriver for because See, I can't tell. Let's see. We're screwing into the metal part, I believe. Okay, that one's in. Now we just have to do this eight more times. <laughs> okay. 
not sure really which one I, which screwdriver I like to use more. Probably. I'm not sure if it makes too much of a difference, but um, and try this one just because it's got kind of a handle, so it's got a little bit more grip. Okay. So this kind of prevents you from tilting the seat back too far because there's a little, you can kind of tilt it forward, but then when it comes back, it's going to stop. Um, Okay. All right, so that's the back done. And it's got that nice little cushioned feel to it. All right, next up is the bottom. And, um, oh, and then we've got the HP screws. Do not over tighten the screws. All right. So this, I guess, is going to fit. Pretty much like that. <clears throat> so we are screwing into the metal part on you know both of those that might be why it's tighter Two more. Ah, it's giving me a workout. Okay. One last DM screw and we'll be ready to mount the seat which I'm quite excited for. As long as I can get that last DM screw out. All right, one DM screw left. We'll put it in our pile of screws.
Okay. All right, so now place the seat onto the left side of the floor. Make sure you move the seat belt out of the way first. Okay. Now, another thing I kind of want to do here is I kind of want to twist these cables just a little bit, just to kind of make them a little bit more interesting to look at maybe. Okay. So kind of like that, move the seat belt out of the way and then set our seat in the slots. I think it's in there or not at all. Okay. There we go. So here you can really tell <clears throat> where, you know, where the carp, the thickness of the carpet really kind of makes a difference. And let's see, seat belts kind of, let's see, let's move it to the back. There we go. And it is sticking up quite far on the, the one side there. So let's try putting a screw in first. Exactly what I didn't want to happen happened. Looks like a hot mess of sc screws and wires. Oh, they're the uh, the inboard side. So let's screw this side down first, actually. So it says don't over tighten them because you want to be able to move the seat back and forward, I guess, if need be. Back this screw out just a bit. So that should allow us to move the seat forward and backward if we need. All right, push the steering wheel forward. Boy, I hope I don't get the steering wheel issue where I have to take, I hope I got the right steering wheel arm because boy, that'll be a lot of work to take all that apart. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Um, so that, uh oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, let's see here. I don't think, I think this, okay, wait a second. I think this zip tie is supposed to be a lot further back like behind the seat <clears throat> and then I think it's supposed to be right along the floor so yeah I get to take all this apart again which I really don't like doing Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. All right. Boy, my AC is really kicking on now. I sincerely apologize for the noise. have to remember to turn it off the next time I shoot a video in here. I usually do, I just 
didn't think it would be kicking on. Okay. So we've got some wires sticking out down there. And again, I can just sit here and kind of twist it from the back maybe. Okay. I think that looks pretty good, guys. So what do you think? We now have our first seat in. We'll have the next seat in the next episode. Now this one's going to be a lot of fun because there's a lot more wires to kind of shove down into the corner here like that. But I'm sure we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, guys. It's starting to move along and get getting a lot heavier. So issue, let's see, this was 50. So issue 51 is more uh, car seat parts, passenger seats. And um, that's it for issue 50. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again as I build the Eagle Moss Presents Back to the Future DeLorean. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, let me know how I'm doing down in the comments section below, wherever, wherever it is. Uh, my name is Brad M73, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.